These vloggers, I am Mara and D Mongo. Oh, this guy money for some reason. They've not paid him. You remember I made a video about a jump to Africa and D Mongo Airbnb issues. Under this video, I went to YouTube and I saw a notification. I checked and it was a comment from Black Man the Traveler. So you're using this poor lady, you're using her to raise money and you're keeping all the money. D Mongo, what's going on? And the kind of allegation this guy is making is so tough. Ponte, <laughs> expose these YouTubers, mate. She's a scam. Uh, I called her. She's. I called them. Just shutting up for the moment and let's see what happens. He is saying that D Mongo and Amarwa are all scammers. He even sent a stray bullet to Nigerians that they are scammers. So guys, finally, I'm at my grandma's place. That's not your grandma. Stop lying. Look at her. She's got this Philippine poor guy that's pretending to be her boyfriend. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. He's probably happy to have a black lady. Scam. Liar, liar. Pants on fire. Sing ciao, sing ciao, your boy Melo Day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, kindly consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strife family. If you're already a subscriber, I salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you, salute you. You are one of the amazing people in the whole world. I really love and appreciate you for showing me support, for showing me love, for showing me some kindness. I really, really, really appreciate that also. So, you know, like I always say here on this channel, we always try to be as truthful as much as possible. We go raw with everything that we say without wearing condom. And, uh, you know, if you are wrong, you are wrong. We don't pamper anybody here on this note. I don't want peace. I want problems always. <laughs> so that is what we do over here. That is what we do over here. So we are going straight into the video. You know all this brouhaha about Dim Wango, Ayamarwa, David Jr., their family, Michele Ponte, Jam, Tor, Africa, and everybody. Like, yo. Sometimes I even get fed up when I'm about to react to those kind of their videos because it's like the drama is so much and it looks like I'm talking about them so much. But I have to do my job. I have to do what I have to do. It's crazy, but it is what it is. They want us to say it, that's why they brought it. Now, you remember I made a video about uh, Jam Tour Africa and Dim Wango Airbnb issues. And, uh, you know, people were reacting to it very well. Some were saying they are scammers and so on. Everybody was saying the ideas, what they think. Some were also saying that Jam to Africa they didn't pay tax. And so many things. So many things. So under this video, I was even about to sleep. I went to YouTube and I saw a notification. I checked. And it was a comment from black man the traveler black man the traveler if you don't know black man the traveler, he has an african origin but he's a british by his passport you know and his accent and those kind of things he's a british but he has he's a black guy which we all know most black guys are from africa so he replied and he said something i don't really want to talk about this because we know what is going on but like i said it's my job that I'm doing. And the kind of allegation this guy is making is so tough. But the thing is, I don't know if I should believe it or not. Because this guy is working with Ponte. 
So definitely we can say that Ponte is his friend. And if Ponte has told him some things, definitely, I don't know how truthful this guy is. For me, if you are my friend and you are not like, you are not right, there's no way I will still support you. If you are wrong, I will tell you you are wrong. I will support the opponent. So I don't know who this guy is. I don't know his character. But he is saying that Di Mwango and Amarwa are all scammers. They are all scammers. And he was even, you know, having a conversation with Michele Ponte. And he said Michele Ponte should expose them. And he said he will expose them. Showing the videos of uh, Di Mwango at the Philippines using that old woman for donations and so on. She's saying He's saying they are scammers and... She's just using them for donations. She doesn't use the actual money for what people send her for. They are saying Ayamara is also doing the same. So, so many things. So many things. Maybe it's because he's working with Ponte, so he wants to side with Ponte. Maybe it isn't so. Maybe he's also doing his conclusion based on his own, the way he's, he's, he's watched the video or he has watched the video and he's analyzed it himself, he's observed some things. And he was even saying that Di Mwango, how can she take someone as a grandmother? She isn't your grandmother. Your grandmother is in Kenya. This woman is Filipino. For that one, I don't agree because people adopt children, call them as their children. Same way others can adopt mothers and call them mothers or grandmothers and call them grandmothers. So for that one, I don't really agree. But I don't want to talk so much I don't want to waste time on this reaction. I'll just go straight into the video, about five minute video. I want you to go check. He posted it on his, uh, his story. But before, I want to give you evidence that he is the one who replied to, uh, uh, who replied to the video I did about Jam to Africa and Di Mwango. This is what he said. I have exposed them on my Instagram stories. People should not donate money to these fraudulent bloggers. He said they are fraudulent bloggers. He's going so hard on them. And according to him, he doesn't like attacking people. But with these people, they are fake and scammers. Now, let's go watch the video. These vloggers, Ayamara and D Mongo, owe this guy money for some reason. They've not paid him. Something's very suspiciously going on with this family. I don't really, I mean, I don't like to attack people, but um, I don't really trust them. Um, D Mongo has got a grandma in, in, in Philippines, apparently, but she's Kenyan. Can someone explain that to me? Like, they're literally ripping off people, asking for donations, and the money's not really going to the people that's in need. So just be careful. They'll end up like Ponte. Cheers. They will take your money. So that's her grandma. So you're using this poor lady. You're using her to raise money. And you're keeping all the money. D Mongo, what's going on? Why are you why are you using these innocent people? And apparently that's your grandma from Philippines. But you're Kenyan. She doesn't even look like you. I don't understand what's going on. How are these content creators getting away with this injustice using these innocent people? So that's your grandma, but you're Kenyan, but you've got a grandma from the Philippines that doesn't even speak Kenyan. Guys, understand people are using these people to make donations and the money's not even going to the people that's in need. Stop watching and subscribing to these YouTubers that are just fake, please. That's not your grandma. Stop lying. Look at her. You love her so much. But you just discovered recently that you've got a grandma in the Philippines. I don't understand. That's your grandma. This lady's a scam. Be careful with this lady, D-Mongo. I'm sorry. Ponte. <laughs> Expose these YouTubers, mate. She's a scam. She's. I called them. Just shutting up for the moment. Let's see what happens. She's a scam. This late guys don't trust the Mongo. She's fraudulent. She's using these people 
for donations and the money's not going to them. Trust me. Hey guys! Hey, this girl's a scam. She's a fraudulent. Look at her. D, stop chatting shit, man. You're talking nonsense. So now, I've got more exposure to expose this, this, <laughs> this fraudulent blogger. She's got this Philippine poor guy that's pretending to be her boyfriend. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. He's probably happy to have a black lady. How much have you paid him? What's his real age? The guy doesn't look like his fucking 20s. He looks like he's in his 30s. Ponte, don't be scared about these people, bruv. They're not ready for me. Look at them. I mean, uh, you know, he might have uh, 10 years more than what she says. Man. I uh, just might. Look at this. Look, she's controlling him. She's telling him what to do. D, man, you're a scam. You're a scam. So you got a boyfriend. That's not your boyfriend in the Philippines. That's a her toy boy. You got, you got... Look, look, it gets even more worse. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Look at this. It's not making sense, yeah? So look, that's the Mongo, yeah? And that's meant to be her grandma. The grandma... Look, 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 look. Look at her reaction. She doesn't know what she's even saying. She's not understanding. Look, look, look at her face, look. Look at this. Look, looking up. Look, this is fraudulent. She's a scam. You're worse than the, than the 419s, than the Nigerians. Look at this. Look at this. This is fake. This, this lady is using people. I know, guys, listen, don't trust these people. they scams. Look at this, man. Scam, liar, liar, pants on fire. But why, why is black man the traveler so hard on them? For me, I don't want to do. He even he's even so angry that he even you know just sent a stray bullet to Nigerians that they are scammers. Oh, black man, the traveler. Anyways, I don't know what to say. This is between black man, the traveler, Michele Ponte, Ayamaro, and Di Muango. They know what they've seen. For me, I don't know. I'm just doing my reaction and putting uh, the information out there for my subscribers, my loyal subscribers, my sensible subscribers to see and, uh, you know, also give their own thoughts about it. Anyways, on air, we always strive for glory, we strive for success, we strive for travels, we strive for anything tangible or important. Today, we are striving for justice. It's all about justice in this brow going on. You know, don't forget to hit that notification button as you subscribe so you join the Strive family. Like this video, let's go viral. Leave a comment. Tell me what you also think. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next one. Yo, mom, if you know, make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said we love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day you gotta make it. If you know, make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said good love you. You for step up your hustle. Cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.